Hazardous materials are all around us every day. Even simple activities like cleaning your home can expose you to dangerous chemicals. Areas that appear safe, such as your kitchen or garage, often contain a number of hazardous materials, ranging from tile cleaners to charcoal briquettes. At home, these hazards usually exist on a small scale. But at work, hazardous chemicals can frequently be found in large quantities as well. They can also exist in more concentrated forms, which makes them even more dangerous. This is why you need to be especially cautious when you are using chemicals on the job. You must know how to properly handle the chemicals you work with because accidents involving hazardous substances can result in serious injuries, even death. In order to know how to handle a hazardous chemical, you need to know what its characteristics are and what makes it hazardous. According to OSHA's hazard communication standard, a hazardous chemical is defined as any material which poses either a physical or a health hazard. Physical hazards get their name from their hazardous physical characteristics, such as flammability, oxidization, combustibility, and explosiveness. These are all attributes which are measurable under laboratory conditions. Health hazards, however, are difficult to measure in a laboratory. More often, they are identified by how they affect the body. If a material causes illness or death, then it is labeled a health hazard. Health hazards can cause a broad range of problems, from shortness of breath to neurological conditions to organ failure. To better understand both physical and health hazards, let's take a closer look at each of them. We'll begin with physical hazards. 